Yo, welcome back. Uh, if you've seen part two, part one, this is part two. I'll put the link in the description of both. Um, we are talking about about what will happen after oil. I started on at the, towards the end of part one about islands. Now, islands are good if you are already on. Personally, there are a lot of pros to it. You got a beautiful view. Island women tend to be pretty hot. Uh, also, very small communities. Why I say this? Well, simply put, a smaller community is more likely to be a more cohesive community. Also happens to be an easier community that goes working with eco-friendly techniques uh, and technologies like wind, solar, tidal, etc., etc. It's also easier to farm because if you're on an island you could go fishing and you can cultivate the land and there's not as many mouths to feed. Also, it's a great technique because what better way to keep all the vermin, and I say that as a the politest way I could possibly say that, all the food-wanting zombies, where's my food? I want my food! Away from you. And that's good in a lot of ways. Also, if you're an American like I am, and I try to be polite about this, because there are some touchy subjects out there, I am sure. That some of these island countries, like Dominica specifically, are what we'd call the third world or second world countries. Not some of the best places to live compared to us. However, our currency, depending on the island, is worth a lot more than theirs. So, for 150 bucks, you could get a lifetime supply of porn, I would think, just as an example, or beer, or whatever, depending. And it, and and don't take that as has a case in point because that only really applies in South American countries. Now. The only country that would really be unaffected by this would be Brazil because they've almost completely weaned themselves off foreign oil. They are producing ethanol in-house for their own personal use. But the problem is, we can't, as Americans, do that. It's impossible. One, Brazil is mostly an agricultural country. Two, their population is about the size of New York and Los Angeles total. And I say, no, not even that, about the size of New York and Miami. Because Miami's not that big. Los Angeles is huge. I mean, they're not that big. Really, they aren't. Their population size is minuscule at best. So therefore, they have, have ample resources they're able to fuel their transportation very easily. Without a doubt, Brazil will, when when cheap, light, sweet crude is gone, be the major world power, in my opinion. It's a scary thought, but think about it. They're going to be the only ones with running electricity they're going to get real populated real quick and that's going to come to an end within 150 years I would think now I personally think that oil will disappear within 40 years as of right now I am age 18 it is August the 19th today as of this post I theorize within the next 40 years oil will almost be a thing in the past. What will happen is if anyone's ever played a video game, an RPG video game series called Wild Arms, that's what I think it's going to look like. If you don't know what it is, well, think steampunk meets future tech. 
basically, it's going to be the Wild West meets hard analogy to describe. It's meets our modern times. Everyone's going to be carrying a gun, I would think, or and or knife and or sword, maybe even. People are going to use bow and arrows. It's based if I've never personally seen it, but I've seen a few trailers here and there. It's basically going to be the Hunger Games, basically. I would think. Just from the trailers alone, that's what I think. Not everyone's going to be able to do a lot of shit. People are going to have to get a lot more physical. I mean, that's the way we survived 150 years ago. I think we could do that again. But the problem is, there's just too damn many of us. Just here in America alone. There's just too damn many of us. A lot of these massive cities, Dallas... Austin, New York, Los Angeles, Miami, hell, even places like Colorado, Detroit, well, they may not be so bad off, but a lot of these big cities would be hellacious, to say the least. So remember these four bees. Bring your own beans, bullets, beer, and babes. Because it's going to get violent out there. And you don't know how long it's going to last. Me personally, I theorize it might be safe after five or six years to go and venture close to cities. Just me personally thinking. Within the first six months, it's going to be complete and total anarchy. And I don't mean to say that in a good way. It's going to be violent. Gangs are going to be running the streets. And even after seven years, say, it's still going to be a pretty violent situation because you're going to have a lot of city-states that are going to be violent. People are going to want food water, the basic essentials, a lot of these, so that's why I'm actually saying, if you have, have the right mindset to venture down into like some of these smaller island populations, not that you should, but if you want to, where it's considered, or some people would consider it the third world, you're probably going to be better off, just saying, because Oil's not that big of a deal to them. It's not that big of a lifeline. Therefore, because their infrastructure's not so highly developed, their crash is going to be minuscule at best. It'd be basically like dropping an egg from like like three inches versus dropping an egg from six stories. You're gonna, in both cases, you're gonna have. A lot of squirted, splatted, splatterage, and shell breaking. But the six stories one is going to be complete and total. Whereas the three inches one, well, it's not that big of a deal. Because there's still some shell left. Just to make an analogy. Whatever the case is, it's going to be violent. I've said that all throughout this video. Guns that I would personally recommend, a 30-30 repeating rifle lever action would be my choice for a rifle, for a sidearm, a 22 revolver. Both guns have been proven time and time again. Um, I'll see you in part 3 for weapons, because i got to keep this under 10. Uh, have a great day, I'll post the link in the description. See you all, enjoy, and be prepared.